Hey everyone, my name is Alexis Swenson and I'm on the team with Learn Grant Writing. Today I'm talking about the little book, The Elements of Style by William Strunk Jr. and E.B. White. Basically, this tiny little book is an overview of essential writing rules that lend to excellent, high quality writing. Strunk was an English professor at Cornell from 1899 to 1937. He taught a series of writing rules which are brilliant and still relevant to our writing today. Strunk's 17th writing rule, omit needless words, has long impressed and inspired me, and I strive to abide by the rule with every grant application, blog post, and even email I write. Uh, so E.B. White, who wrote the beloved Charlotte's Web, wrote the introduction for this fourth edition of The Elements of Style. He was originally taught by Strunk at Cornell and learned Strunk's, all of his, all of Strunk's writing rules really well, but especially the 17th had a great um, impression on him. So I just want to read a quick excerpt from White's introduction. Omit needless words, cries the author on page 23. And into that imperative, Will Strunk really put his heart and soul. In the days when I was sitting in his class, he omitted so many needless words and omitted them so forcibly and with such eagerness and obvious relish that he often seemed in the position of having shortchanged himself. A man left with nothing more to say, yet with time to fill, a radio prophet who had outdistanced the clock. Will Strunk got out of this predicament by a simple trick. He uttered every sentence three times. When he delivered his oration on brevity to the class, he leaned forward over his desk, grasped his coat lapels in his hands, and in a husky conspiratorial voice said, Rule 17. Omit needless words. Omit needless words. Omit needless words. He was a memorable man, friendly and funny. Under the remembered sting of his kindly lash, I have been trying to omit needless words since 1919. And although there are still many words that cry for omission and the huge task will never be accomplished, it is exciting to me to reread the masterly Strunkian elaboration of this noble theme. It goes, and this is Strunk's explanation of Rule 17. Vigorous writing is concise. A sentence should contain no unnecessary words, a paragraph no unnecessary sentences, for the same reason that a drawing should have no unnecessary lines in a machine, no unnecessary parts. This requires not that the writer make all sentences short or avoid all detail and treat subjects only in outline, but that every word tell. So as you go about your grant proposals, ask yourself, how am I making my every word tell? Always be thinking about your sentences as they're related to the overarching theme or end goal in your proposal. Does your every word contribute to and tell that story? This is also related to Meredith's harping on only having so many words in a sentence. You want to keep it brief and compelling for the grant reviewer. So I just encourage you, um, imagine William Strunk leaning over his desk and telling you, omit needless words. I encourage you to be rigorous in your editing, murder your darlings as necessary, and make your every word tell.